Willie and Corey Robertson from A&E's smash hit Duck Dynasty play a big part in the number one independent movie of the year, God's Not Dead. The hit Faith film has grossed more than $61 million at the box office and is now available for purchase on DVD and digital download. Joining us now on Harvest are Willie and Corey Robertson. Good to have you with us today, and thanks for uh, spending a little time. Good to Hi be there. Here. Good to be here. Uh, tell us a little bit about the movie, and uh, really, I'd like to get your take on why you think uh, Faith films are really all the rage and kind of exploding at the box office. Well, the movie is really about a, um, a young college student that has to defend his faith. You know, the professor um, gives him a challenge, and he takes it, takes it on. And, um, you know, I think it's really important for um, people right now to take a look at that and examine their faith. There's a lot of people being persecuted in this world that we see on TV every day. And um, while it might not be so overt here in America, it's there. And um, I think it's really important. I think that faith-based films are um, getting a lot of interest right now because people are looking for hope. They're looking for something that's mm -hmm. greater than themselves. Mm -hmm. And uh, Willie, why do you think this particular movie, God's Not Dead, has, has done so well, so exceptionally well? Well, I think there's a lot of reasons. I think, uh, that, you know, in our culture right now, shows like Duck Dynasty, uh, show the Bible, I mean, these were super popular. I think people were open. There are hard times. People are suffering financially. And uh, there's just so many things that um, that has been shoved down our throats uh, through the media, through movies and television shows. Uh, really, that's not that great. So I think people are looking for something different. Uh, God's Not Great came out at a good time. Uh, and it's a great movie. I thought it was shot well. I think faith-based movies have come so far from where they used to be because used to be they weren't that great of a movie, and mm -hmm. uh, you agree with the message, but it just wasn't that wasn't that great of a movie. But this one, we were we were uh, pleasantly surprised. We didn't know we had never seen it. We had only done our parts, and so when we sat in the theater, I thought, man, I hope this is good, and uh, I was very uh, very pleased with what I saw. Yeah, I, I think you're hit on a great point there. Kind of in, in the past, the like B-grade movies are kind of a little cheesy, you know, the Christian film genre, but uh, they've really stepped up over the last few years and putting out some great product as well as, as you said, uh, the message itself. Tell us a little bit about the experiences that uh, yeah, you encountered while doing the movie and maybe one of your, your, your favorite moments. Well, yeah, this was our first movie, and um, we got to play ourselves, so it wasn't that big of a stretch. <laughs> but we did have to memorize lines. So the first time we, we stepped up there, Willie, um, you know, started doing his part, and he kind of did it reality style and just ad-libbed, did his own thing. You know, <laughs> the director said, cut, and said, okay, now um, actually let's actually read the lines that we wrote. <laughs> so it was a learning experience for us, but it was a lot of fun. <laughs> Yeah, and I, I was—I actually quoted a, a passage in there, and um, you know, it's funny. I, I did this on another television show when I was on Last Man Standing, where I quoted this passage, and so the versions are a little different uh, than the version that I have, and so the words are a little, little different. And actually, those passages are really hard to to quote a whole passage of scripture from another version of a yeah. Bible. Um, uh, so I struggle with that one a little bit to get the <laughs> word, you know, to get that thing right. So, uh, uh, but it was it was it was fun. Now, uh, if I can switch gears just a little bit and uh, talk about you guys, you know, the overwhelming success of Duck Dynasty and kind of the, uh, the way you've just stepped on the cultural stage uh, here in the United States and kind of guys are seen almost everywhere from, from Walmart to, I don't know if you've gone to the White House yet, but that'd make a nice sentence from Walmart to the White House. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Tell us a little bit about, uh, you know, these last, uh, I don't know, 10 years or so in your lives where you know, this, this fascination has, has kind of come upon uh, your family and, and all that uh, Duck Commander and Buck Commander does. Uh, well, it's funny. I mean, and you mentioned 10 years, which for, for the success of Doug Dynasty, it's only been two and a half yeah. years. So it's, <laughs> it hasn't been that long since we've been uh, doing this big of a television show but we have you know with our Buck Commander show has been popular as well and we had mm -hmm. Duck Commander shows that are I know are going to come on next week on A&E where they're going to throw it back to stuff we used to film and right. you'll see a lot of the right. you know, same thing the beards are a little different the, the coloring's different <laughs> the early but, uh, days but it has it's been we've been able to do a tremendous amount of things I think we're uh, so appreciative of the fans and also just the stuff that we've been able to do we've been able to help a lot of charity things and uh, things that we always wanted to do and um, you know obviously help our fans Family, we I don't know how many of our family is employed now, but it's a <laughs> it's a bunch of them, and um, and yes, we have been to the White House, so I, <laughs> all right, perfect. I have been up I have been up there as well. 
perfect. Uh, if we can kind of get a little look into your lives, uh, you know, your dad, Phil, is uh, he's very outspoken, speaks a lot, shares his faith and testimony a lot, uh, both uh, in in public settings as well as on the program itself. But uh, for you guys, uh, for the boys, uh, Willie, how did you all come to faith in Christ and, and your kind of personal moment where you realized, hey, you know, life's not just about me, but, but God wants to be an integral part of it? Well, it certainly started with Phil. Phil was our first, you know, man who had taught us about our faith, and we had known of his struggles in the past. And uh, just to see his life change was very, visually for us, was, you know, it was, you saw it. I mean, you saw what he used to be and that, then what he became. Uh, so that's where it started. That's not where it ended. And it, uh, our faith continues to grow. And uh, it was through church. And uh, Corey and I actually met in, at church. We were a youth group together and uh, as little kids uh, going to church together. So we grew up with a faith. Her family was faithful as well. And uh, and we grew in. We just, we, we've always been uh, Christians and, um, you know, did a lot of great things when we were kids and uh, did mission work. And, uh, and we have now... Uh, our kids are doing the same thing, and we're proud of them and watching their faith grow as they blog and as they talk and as they do their businesses and uh, go off to college. Uh, uh, we just want to keep that going. Mm -hmm. And, uh, Corey, I read that you guys got married when you were just in university or out of university, 18, 19 years old, uh, in childhood sweethearts, as, as Willie just mentioned there. Uh, how has faith played a role in, in your home and marriage? And you get really just a, a great example of how, again, God's not dead. He can be alive in every aspect of our life. Absolutely. And that's the way we live. You know, whenever we started doing the show, Duck Dynasty, we knew that um, you wouldn't be able to get around our faith because it is. It's who we are. It's how we live. It affects our marriage, how we raise our children, how we treat other people. So um, it is, it's a, it's a huge part of our life. It's the most important part of our life. And so, yeah, we got married at 18 and 19 and we've just grown up together. And yeah, our faith, our faith has played a big part in that unconditional love and forgiveness and that commitment to staying married and staying together. And, um, you know, we're real thankful that we found each other that young and we've, we've, had, we've had a fun ride. I practically raised this girl. So. <laughs> well, we want to thank you both for uh, joining us today, and uh, God bless you in all that you're doing. I want to encourage our friends watching again right now, God's Not Dead, a fantastic, fantastic movie for you and for the whole family. In fact, I just brought a copy down to Nicaragua to some of our missionary friends out there. We're going to be showing it to uh, all of their audiences up and down throughout the villages in the land. Listen, it's available now on DVD and digital download. I encourage you to go ahead and get a copy. Harvest-TV is our website. You can log on there to find out where you can pick up your own DVD of God's Not Dead. And I also want to encourage you to check out uh, Willie and Corey and all of the Robertson clan on Duck Dynasty and A&E.